You know I love vintage lenses, and I want to take a look at a couple of interesting ones that are virtually worthless on eBay these days. This is a Vivitar 85-205 to 3.8 zoom lens. I've traced the serial number down to about 1969, 10 bucks if you're lucky on eBay. I'm going to throw it on a C100 and let's see what we get with that. And this other old uh, Tamron 400 millimeter lens, which had done okay as a still lens before, but let's see if it can still stand up on the C100. First, we're going to shoot this lens wide open. This is a true zoom lens in that it'll hold focus throughout the entire zoom range. Zoomed in at 205, quite sharp. In this shot, I've stopped the lens down two stops, and I reduced the ND in the camera to just four stops, and it still looks good here. Let's take a look and zoom in. Still looks really good. Another shot wide open at 85 millimeters. This time at 205, and we're stopped down uh, about two clicks on the lens. And let's see if we can do a little tilt on here. And we are at 205 here, and we focused out to infinity. We can do a little rack here. There's a little bit of play in this lens mount adapter that I have, and that's causing this to shift a little bit. 205 again. Just twist the iris and stop it down a bit. And let's flip the ND out. Six stops ND, wide open. Let's rack the focus in. You might want to consider one of these lenses when you need to keep a low profile but still need a long lens. You don't want one of those big giant lenses screaming professional over here. You want to be low key, and this is definitely a lens that you could consider. Okay, here's a 400 millimeter, and it's at f8, and I got it clicked one stop down. Those guys are probably about a quarter mile away from me. We are uh, pretty much focused at infinity here. I'm going to tilt up a little bit. It's about 32 degrees Fahrenheit outside, and with this old Tamron lens, the grease in the lens is really stiffened up almost to the point of where the lens barrel actually wants to unscrew itself. The uh, focus ring is so stiff, so uh, you might need to change the grease out on this lens if it's even worth it. Good fluid head really counts when you want to pan a lens at 400 millimeters like this. One downside to this old Tamron lens, it only focuses to about 25 feet. That's one of the compromises you get for a lens of basically no cost, but if you don't need to focus that close, then this may be fine. Here's a shot shooting against backlit snow out on the ice, and uh, it's holding together pretty well. That flare there is just a little bit of haze that's actually rising up off the uh, snow. I'm going to repeat a shot that I did on the uh, 205. So who would have guessed that these old, virtually worthless lenses could actually still hold their own today? Now, I'm not going to pretend that they're anywhere near as good as certain modern lenses, but if you're in a shooting situation where the lens might get damaged uh, because of rain, dust, etc., and you want to just wrap the camera up in a plastic bag and just have the lens poking out, a cheap lens like this is definitely an option to consider. It's also another interesting option if you're really on a budget and you just need a lens for one shot, one time. Even though these lenses are a little bit slow, it really doesn't matter so much on a camera like the C100 because you can just kick the gain up on the camera one stop, and of course it's incredibly clean, at least as long as you're not getting up into eight or 10,000 where it might actually make a difference. Mm -hmm.